I've had this potential alternator built sitting here for about a month now. Haven't had the opportunity to test it. One of the things I found the last one I tried, which was too long, is that I could maybe get a shorter one on by taking this clip out of the alternator, which gave me more room to move it closer to the uh, valve cover. I'm going to take the camera around the other side as I try to put this on because you'll get a better view. The last belt I tried, I actually got it on, but then I didn't have enough uh, pull on the alternator to take the slack out of it. So this one is, I think, I'm close to an inch shorter. I forget what the exact length of the other one was. But hopefully it will go and I'll be able to take the slack out of the thing. get it on this one first. Let's see if I can slip it up over that one. I think that's going to happen. I'd have to go over two pulleys if I go over that. And this one, I only need to go over one, but I don't think I can take this much slack out of it. This way because if I pull this way I'm pulling it toward the valve cover. pulling it back once you get it on there is not much happening in terms of tightening the belt it seems like it's just going the same direction just going lower it's it's not really tightening it. I may have to take the valve cover off to get this on. That's a bummer. Unfortunately, this groove has to be in this direction because it's pivoting on a mount down there. So that's going to dictate exactly how this can go. Well, I'm going to shut the camera off a bit and see if I can put some force on that. 
get it to pop over. I'm not optimistic. I think the valve cover is going to have to come off to put that belt on. That's uh. It's a strange situation. I decided to take the valve cover off to do that. Made me happy that I decided to put the studs into the block and put bolts on top of it. But run into a problem with this one in the back here that you have to actually put pressure on it towards the front and then up to get it to clear the brake booster. I don't know whether I'm going to, I might have to trim a little bit off of those, about a quarter of an inch. That's going to mess up how they look on the outside, but I've got to be able to get to things. These may or may not punch through easily, but okay. That's a bummer to have to take the valve cover off to put an alternator belt on. Then I'm not even sure once I do this whether the one I have on there is going to actually fit. Okay, so... The wire, spark plug wire loom is off. Two spreaders. And I'll take them off the top. I am happy that I did put the studs in the block for this because now when I take these things off I can put them on the stud This problem is called caused because I have tall valve covers on here because, well, they were on here already. Um, two reasons, the increased lift of the cam, which was the same as the cam that was in here, except that the one that was in here was flat tap and not roller. But I needed that extra. for the roller rockers as well. So now that I've got that all the way in, it appears to be that I can move that enough to tighten it. So, fortunately I had used the reusable valve cover gaskets, so I can actually
just put it back on. That is really nice just being able to put those right over the studs. And I think I am going to grind down those ends of the um, this thing to make it clear the brake booster. Spreaders on on the bottom. Put the spark plug wire loom on the studs. trying to avoid that. Uh, I really think if I had a longer uh, longer alternator belt, I really don't know if I could have taken enough slack out of it to make it not slip. Because this is like a half inch from the end of the travel and it'll be closer once I pull put some pressure on it to make it tight and hook that alternator wire up while I'm thinking of it and I'm gonna Take this over and grind a little bit off at each end of that so that I can tighten it easier.
may have to edit that a little bit. Uh, <laughs> the compressor was on, I didn't hear the radio playing, and then the compressor went off and I didn't realize right away that the The radio was playing, so anyways, I'm trying to tighten up the bottom part of the bracket on the Alternator. Should have probably used a ratchet on this instead of these flux head wrenches. They're they're handy in some cases, but they're not always the best thing. So to go over what I think I said. I trimmed off the edges of this and it was a little bit difficult to start it because it was still very close to the brake booster but I finally got it started. So the valve cover is tightened down again and I put pressure on the alternator and tightened this adjusting nut first that held it in place while I went and I adjusted the bracket on the bottom. So if you're adjusting a belt on an alternator, you got to loosen this. Otherwise, when you loosen the top one, you won't be able to move it anyway. So is holding the throttle cable was moving as I put the throttle cable in which is something I did with that I'm telling you I may take it out to show how it's done later but um, I noticed it was moving as I was trying to put that cable in so just tightening that down. I guess I'll go over all four of the bolts on the sniper to make sure that they're good. And I'm almost out of battery, but other than tightening down those bolts on the sniper, there's nothing else I'm going to do today. So that's it for now.